Hi everybody, I'm Simon from the Visu Technical Academy and we're going to take you through a brief demonstration of some of the key features and upgrades in the brand new ECM Titanium 3.0. One of the first things you'll notice is the complete overhaul to the UI or user interface. Not only have the, the buttons all been sort of sharpened up, nicer, cleaner images on there, but you'll notice the sort of the big difference in the middle of the screen, which is our work project and comparison project view. This is a complete world's first for ECM Titanium. We've now got the ability to compare two completely different vehicles against one another. Obviously, it goes without saying these need to be similar vehicles. And in today's demonstration, we're going to take you through a BMW 520D and compare it to a similar 520D F-Series, same horsepower, similar driver, just pointing out there, not the exact same driver, an actual similar driver. So these are different software numbers, but very similar operating system. So you'll notice on the left-hand side, we've got our original file open here. We can see the software number is actually shown in this particular file, but we can see the driver name all at the top and all of the typical maps that we need for tuning. To open our comparative project, our comparison over here, we can either browse for a file on our computer in the traditional way that you use ECM Titanium, or we can show you one of the new updates that have been made into ECM Titanium 3.0 by opening the project option. Now we're going to go and grab our reference from our project database because it stands the reason if you've got a mod file that you want to use again, it should be in your database already. So we're going to go to project, and we're going to open up our F series up here, 520D, same ECU type as we can see. And we've actually got the choice now of being able to select which modified file we want. So this database has been updated a little bit more now so you can manage the files that are in here. We can export our mods directly from this screen without all the previous click-throughs. It's just been made a little bit more efficient and a bit more user-friendly. So we're going to select a VPerf, that's our performance tune. Accept the mod. And we'll see down here on the left-hand side of the screen we're going to have our original and our mod file. So straight away we can see differences here. We've got the little dots in the maps to indicate there's changes. And if we open up one of these to start with, so we've got calculated torque limiters, we'll move on to the next big feature, which is pressing Control and C. We can copy the data that's there. Stays highlighted so we can see which one we've copied data from. Come across to the corresponding map, open it up, and it's pre-selected the area that we want. Control V to paste. And there we go, we can see the changes have been taken across. It's important we come up here to confirm this option. If you don't confirm and just close, it gives you the option here, save and exit. It's easy to just hit the cancel by mistake and oh, hasn't saved the changes. So we can do it here with the confirm. That locks the change in and straight away it's taken us to the closed map. So there's no accidental risk of cancel and exit on there, for example. So all the other options are grayed out. Press OK, and that's our mod copied across. You'll notice the area we copied from is still highlighted here as if the map window is open. It's not, it's just got the selection still highlighted. So we simply go File, Cancel Copy, and it unselects that map. And now it's just a rinse and repeat process to go through all of the other maps, all the other changes that we need to copy across. But more on top of this, we can actually go to the 2D graphic so our 2D is actually a really powerful um, view to look at in here. If we look at the comparison project on the bottom, I'm going to jump through to a few differences. Let's just scroll along. And perfect. We have a differences here for our torque request during standard takeoff condition. We can literally right click and then right click again to highlight the area we want to copy up. But importantly, we can align the charts. You notice that just moved a couple of little bytes across. That's align the map data from the bottom to the top project. So when we move up to the top and copy the changes, and then press the paste here, you see the little changes are made on the top screen. It's really important that we do that, that we um, actually align the maps first. Highlight the data you want, check the alignment's good, choose which option you want to copy, changes, increments, or percent. In this case, we just go with changes, and we paste the data up. It's literally as simple as that. But this allows you, as you'll see now, if we separate the alignment, move one project further along, we can highlight an area of data and get it to try and search and match that for us. See, it's trying to match the data on the screen 
from one to the other. So it tries to align the projects for us. Really, really helpful piece of software there. A great addition to the um, Alien Tech ECM Titanium package. The new 3.0 software update not only gives us the ability to copy and paste differences between projects in the two-dimensional, but as already shown, it gives us the option to copy and paste. Confirm my changes. It gives us the option to copy and paste on the actual table level as well, allowing you quick and easy performance upgrades, software upgrades from lower horsepower to higher horsepower specs, literally at the click of a few buttons. So you can see from this video, there's some great new advancements inside of ECM Titanium with the brand new release of 3.0. Just remember, if you've got one of these style dongles, you need to get one of the brand new sort of black and yellow style dongles to take full advantage of ECM 3.0's upgrade. This is a newer style dongle, it's a faster, it's a bigger dongle, it's got more storage on there and is designed to take full advantage of the brand new ECM Titanium 3.0 release. Remember if you've got one of these, upgrade to this. If you've got one of these, make sure you've got an active subscription on it. If you've got active subscription, you get the release of 3.0 included. If you haven't, you do need to update your subscription. So contact us today to change from this to this. And if you've got one of these, add your subscription onto it as well. Thanks for watching.